take It's supposed to go both ways This broken heart is hardly worth the price you didn't pay Baby, Hey, good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, it is another good morning. It is kind of dark out there, so you won't be able to see much out there. I just wanted to show you that it is nice and dark out there. <laughs> so we are starting bright and early, I guess you could say. But hey, we had us an awesome supper in here last night. Every Wednesday night here in Clearwater, Minnesota at the Petro 2, they got the chef cooking a pasta the way you like it, and it was really really nice I love pasta so they made it to my liking and it was super super good so uh, anybody coming by here on a Wednesday I recommend you stop in here and you go check it out because if you like pastas you're gonna like this one that's for sure they cook it right in front of you they got it right there in the center of the room the whole cooking and everything man they do it right there in front of you that's just awesome Oh, and that delayed me a little bit so I didn't get going quite as early as I wanted but hey we're here we're getting our day started so let's come and follow us along on our daily journey today would appreciate that if you did already guys the Sun is finally starting to climb up somewhere I can't quite see it just yet but hey we got daylight <laughs> Uh, 
gave you uh, a bypass basically meaning you have a little thing here sitting on your dashboard or window or whatever and it will uh, indicate red or green whatever light pops up is the indicator right so if it's green then you can go if it's red that means you gotta come in anyways <laughs> doesn't mean that you're going to get the bypass every time but at least you know if they were going to give you the bypass i wouldn't have had to pull in right so that's what a bypass or, or a pre-pass uh, system uh, is and how it works and that kind of stuff so uh for those of you that are not from this country you might be wondering what the heck is that right but anyways uh we're going to continue on with our journey and see what the rest of the day will have in store for us right If I could make about a million bucks, I wouldn't mind driving this truck. But I've been running too hard for too little pay. So I walked in the boss man's room, said I'm gonna need me a raise real soon. And through that big fat cigar, this is what he had to say. I can only please one person today, and today ain't your day. So get back in that truck and turn it around. Yeah, that door you just walked through swings both ways. And I can only please one person today, and today ain't your day. So could you bring me a drink while I hit the easy chair? And the chrome on my truck needs shine. It's out there in the driveway when you get time. Then I heard her wailing as my keys came sailing through the air. I can only please one person today, and today ain't your day. So get back in that truck, hey, and turn it around. Yeah, that door you just walked through swings both ways. And I can only please one person today, and today ain't your day. I can only please one person today, and today ain't your day. Get back in that truck and turn it around. Hey, that door you just walked through swings both ways. And I can only please one person today. All right, guys, we've had us a little bit of a break here in Toma, Wisconsin. Yes, indeed. Now the challenge is getting out of here. This guy just pulled out. So now I gotta be careful. Oh, we made it. There we go. Yeah, we are in Toma, Wisconsin, as I said, and uh, we fueled up over here our truck, uh, at least, and uh, had our half an hour mandatory break. Went inside and had us a little bit of a breakfast done, and. Now it's time to get back on the highway. We got 380 miles to do yet, so uh, we better get her going. Otherwise, we will be in rush hour in uh, Chicago, which I suspect we will be anyways a little bit. But hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. Well, we're gonna give this a try and hope for the best, right? There we go, made us a little stop and uh, taking care of bees and knees as they say. Now we gotta take care of the rest of the business, right? Which is driving. Yeah. <laughs> getting 
the miles behind us that we need and it looks like take the, the sun is the wanting drive. to come out and take a sneak peek at us that's awesome news as well yeah I like to have nice sunshine especially since they've gotten some ice rain past here it'll be nice to get a little warmer weather because that will in essence uh, warm everything up and it will melt the ice right looks like they've put a lot of salt down on the road already so uh, we should be a-okay I still need to call the customer though I still I think I'm gonna do that here pretty soon because if I don't continue on this road then uh, miles. they might go home before I, f I think about calling them again right oh boy look at that there's a tractor trailer in the ditch over there I don't know how long ago that happened but it looks like it must have happened a little while ago because they got cones up there and looks like they got the lane closed up there and everything <laughs> yeah he went right into the ditch there that's not good must have been pretty nasty up here with all the ice rain that they've gotten here like yesterday and I think I think yesterday that's one of the uh, when the ice rain and stuff was coming through here so that's from what I've been hearing anyways still surprised they haven't pulled them out but I mean there's a town right here so I'm pretty sure they should have a tow truck there so I don't know why they don't uh, have them out of the ditch yet but hey maybe they're busy with other stuff right could very well be but I like it that that sun is starting to peek through there and I really do like and we filled up there with number one fuel make sure so we don't freeze up because the number one fuel is winterized and you don't find that at too many places here in the US very few places have number one fuel most of them only have number two so we always got to look for the ones that got number one and I know the quick trip has got number one and uh, since I don't know which direction I'm going to be going after uh, I get unloaded uh, I might be going back again right so might be going back towards the cold and if that's the case I need number one fuel from keeping everything from freezing plus the cold is moving that way too so I'm kind of driving with the cold as well although it's not nearly as cold as it was uh, back at home yesterday but uh, hey, better safe than sorry right that's the way I look at it. Alrighty guys, we are now in Chicago on 294. Yes, indeed we are. And it is starting to get rush hour time. Yeah, it's about uh, 3.42 in the afternoon. So uh, I kind of suspected that this is what was going to happen because of the time of the day. We're going to be running into a little bit of traffic, but hey what you have to deal with at times you know just happened to be the way it worked out that's all I can say but uh, we did get us a reload offer earlier and then that load uh, got cancelled for some odd reason and so then I said to them I said well that load was only supposed to go back to Winnipeg anyways and I really wanted to get some good miles uh, this week. I really need some miles, right? So I texted him back and I said, if at all possible, uh, try and get me a load that will get me some miles. I really need some miles. And so he came through. He sent me a message uh, later with a new load offer. And uh, that's a much better load. <laughs> Well, let's hope that that load ain't gonna be cancelled I'm not gonna say where it's from or where it's going just yet because uh, who knows <laughs> it might get changed again too right you never know you never know right so we're not gonna speculate on uh, where we're going and all that yet we're just saying that I'm very pleased with the new load offer that I've got but yeah we are definitely in rush hour traffic for sure and Chicago, yeah, we just went by the O'Hare at the airport here a few minutes ago. 
And usually once we get past this stretch a little bit, then it kind of eases up for a little bit. So we'll see if that's going to be the case today or not, right? We just have to keep our fingers crossed and hope that that's going to happen. But as of right now, we're just cruising along and enjoying our day. We did fly our drone a little bit earlier. We'll see what kind of footage we got off of that. If we got good footage, you would have probably seen it by now. Would have probably been in the video already, so. Hope for the best, I guess. But uh, I called the customer earlier. No answer. So uh, I looked on Google Map. And it looks like they got no gate there. It looks like they got plenty of room there. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot and see if we can just go right to the customer here and spend the night at the customer's yard. Hopefully they will uh, allow us to do that. Hopefully they won't kick us out of there, but if they do, we just gonna have to find us a different place, right? But anyways, we'll make our way through Chicago here as uh, much as we can trying to keep our distance from vehicles so that way if something comes to a standstill we have time to react and uh, come to a quick stop if we need to right that's usually the go that's where a lot of people screw up they don't keep their distance if you keep your distance like I am you should generally have plenty enough time to stop it takes uh, I believe it's what was it 350 feet or 700 feet or something like that for a uh, big semi truck that's fully loaded to come to a complete stop a lot of four-wheelers don't realize that it takes such a long time for a big truck to come to a stop and they just think they can sometimes because we got so many wheels and tires that we can come to a stop quicker that ain't the case that ain't the case that's for sure but anyways We'll continue on with our journey and uh, hope for the best, right? Well, guys, we have come to another end of the day. <laughs> yes, indeed, we have. And guess what? We're at the customer that we are to be delivering tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning. That is awesome news. I love it. When I can do that, I park right here. They, I even asked the junkyard driver, they were still here, if I could park here. And he said, yep, no problem whatsoever. So I give it a two thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. So I looked it up how far it is to my uh, second delivery. And it's about uh, 140 miles to my second delivery. So I figured, you know what? It's 8 o'clock Eastern time here right now. I don't deliver till 7.30 tomorrow morning. So that means I got 11 and a half hours that I can kind of waste over here pretty much. And so well, I got to take 10, right? So another hour and a half extra. So that gives me time to uh, go ahead and do some editing. So I figured why not finish off my video today and let's get to editing. And then uh, if I do get the load that I'm supposed to be doing tomorrow, then I'll be able to have my videos ready to go. As soon as I get back into Canada, I can get that Wi-Fi system going and we can get these videos uploaded for you guys. So you guys have something to watch. I know you're probably dying to watch me, right? <laughs> if you are, leave me a big thumbs up. I would appreciate Appreciate that. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, yeah, we're uh, going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope you enjoyed today's little vlog and we'll be back tomorrow again guys we're back on a roll now so uh <coughs> excuse me we'll go ahead and make us probably a bite to eat put the video together and then get a good night's sleep and we'll be all ready to go tomorrow so don't go nowhere we'll be back here tomorrow morning so have a good one everybody and we'll see you on the next one this has been trucker rudy <laughs>